Hello fellow Ender 3 S1, S1 Pro or S1 Plus owners. I'm here today with my Creality Ender 3 S1 and we are going to upgrade it from the standard brass nozzle to the Creality High Flow 0.6 hardened copper nozzle. To do this, I'd like you to have an adjustable wrench or one of these, a 0.6 socket, or one of the cheap Creality wrenches that comes with most of your printers that fits the nozzle. Ideally, I'd also like you to have a fresh silicone boot. To get the ball rolling, we're gonna to wanna to bring the hot end up higher so we can have easier access underneath where the nozzle is. To do that, just choose Move Axis Z and raise it up a whole bunch. Now that your nozzle is nice and high, let's just have a look over here behind the cooling fan. This is where we will be doing most of our work. The first thing we're going to do is simply reach up and pull this rubber boot off. Yeah, you heard me. It's just a cheap old rubber boot. Just peel it off. It might be stuck, so be careful. Wouldn't be a bad idea to replace it if you have a new one. You will notice the machine is on. That is because we are going to do this with the nozzle warm. Simply use your firmware and choose the option that heats the hot end. On mine, it says preheat PLA. Now, this is where I do things a little bit differently because I don't wish to accidentally short out my printer or electrocute myself. Once it is up to temperature, I'm going to turn it off. We are then going to put our wrench of choice on the heat block to keep it from moving. And then you can either use your cheap Creality tool or a number six socket and simply loosen the nozzle. Once the nozzle gets loose, you can let go and you should be able to finish unscrewing that nozzle without issue. If you find you still have heat block movement, just put your wrench back on the heat block. Should it tilt a little bit, don't freak out, just put it back. It's no big deal, not the end of the world. Without wasting too much time, take your new nozzle and start it into the threads. I have an 06 high flow nozzle. I'm going to put my socket over it and get it into place. Once it's firm, I'm going to grab the heat block and tighten the nozzle. Don't overdo it, just firm. Now you're going to take your silicone boot, preferably a new one, and stick it up over the heat block. In an ideal world, the rubber boot will clip over top of both sides of the heat block. And that's it. You've upgraded the nozzle on your Ender 3 S1 printer. And there you have it. We have upgraded the Ender 3 S1 nozzle from brass to high flow copper. Despite some misinformation on the internet, it is a quick and easy job that does not require taking apart your Sprite extruder. Should you be in the need of a smaller, larger replacement or harder nozzle material, the upgrade or replacement is straightforward and not much different from the process on any previous Ender printer. You are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3DRundown.com and upgrading this Ender 3 S1 to a hardened copper high flow nozzle was today's adventure.